one of the most frustrating areas of optical design is when you feel that you have a reasonable starting point uh, and then you need to start uh, putting in actual glasses, your design can sometimes fall apart. What are the characteristics of the materials that are being used? How can I mix and match the dispersion properties of my glasses to really maximize the color correction for the design? If you're working at this end and you make a change to these two glasses, now you're not sure that these two glasses that you picked earlier at the other end of your optical system are still the best two given this change that you made over here. And to a certain extent it was a bit of an art form. The good news is that this is the sort of thing that can be automated. And we in the engineering services group put our heads together and came up with an algorithm that more or less mimics what an experienced designer would do. And it can do it much more efficiently than an individual can do it, even though it's still using the same process that an experienced engineer would apply to the problem. We recently did a design of a telephoto lens that was long focal length, and long focal length means that uh, color correction is going to be a problem. So we were able to start with a system that used all normal glass and turn on glass expert and we gave it the freedom to use special glasses provided the thermal expansion mismatch was not too great and provided they were not too expensive and we ended up with a system that used ordinary glasses for the big elements and one element of a special glass in the back to correct the secondary color and the performance was much better than the original performance. One thing that I like to do is to create a catalog, a downsampling of several of the commercial catalogs. I put it in Excel spreadsheet and then delete the glasses that I don't want to use. And then allow a glass expert to choose from these glasses that I've left remaining. A glass expert uh, has helped me a lot in the designs that I've done uh, because it's just flat out faster than I am. Glass expert works by uh, starting with the system and improving it uh, gradually over time and it keeps a record of all the designs it went through on the way to the final design and it stops when it is unable to improve the design anymore.